Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the CJ. I want to welcome you guys back to episode 19 of the 120 gallon reef system. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, what's been going on the last two months. And for those that have been lucky enough to catch it, I've been doing random live streams, kind of keeping you guys in tune on what the latest is on the system. So if you missed the last one, definitely go back and check it out. I'll put the link in the description. And if you want to catch any future live streams, make sure you hit that notification bell because they're pretty random. And unless you got that notification bell hit, more than likely you will miss it and I do not usually leave those things up for review so with that being said let me catch everyone up on what's going on in the tank so let's go ahead and answer the first question you know what the hell is the powder blue doing in the sun well this is all part of our master plan guys that's right another master plan by CJ actually this guy has been X out for three days from the main display and the only reason for this was to reintroduce new tanks if anyone knows about powder blues these guys are very very territorial and considering this guy's been living on the system for roughly three and a half, four months without any other tanks to compete with, just didn't feel comfortable adding new fish with this guy roaming around, you know, ready to pick a fight right away. So I decided to exile him, and this is me actually adding him to the tank for the first time. I have no idea what was going to happen, but whatever happened, I was going to make sure I recorded it for you guys. But luckily, you know, first thing I see is he falling in, no issues. No drama between the yellow tang, no drama between the Tamini tang, and all in all, everything looks like it's going to work out. Now to kind of help this situation out, I also decided to do a very heavy feeding of Reef Frenzy Nano. Considering I don't feed these guys frozen every day, this is really a treat for them. So if there was anything else that was going to distract them and, you know, make everyone get along, I figured a nice heavy feeding would do the trick. Now the final piece to my master plan is going to be to complete a water change. Not only to, you know, export all of that extra food that may have got stuck in the rock work or sand or, you know, detritus or whatever else needed to actually export from the system. This also serves as my final distraction. Keep in mind, you know, he just got added to the system, just got finished feeding the whole tank. And just before he starts getting the idea of I'm going to pick a fight, I start a water change process. As you guys notice during my water changes, you can't see any fish. You know, everyone's hiding. No one's happy. And the last thing everyone wants to do is actually fight with each other. So I'm hoping, you know, this ends up working out for me. Otherwise, I can try some alternative methods I've heard about, whether it be using a mirror on the outside of the tank or even a picture of another tank on the tank. You know, anything that serves as a distraction is usually the best method to get these guys to stop fighting. Now, I know some of you all may have just stumbled across my channel and, you know, decided to join this journey and follow along with this 120 gallon tank. So keep in mind, you know, it's been running for seven months. The last few months have really been the tank in neutral, you know, not really doing a lot of changes, haven't added a fish in almost three months. And the goal was to finally get past the algae issues I've experienced with this Bukani rock. And I'll tell you guys, you know, after a couple of months ago of doing that tire tank blackout, leaving the lights low and slowly ramping them back up to where I need them for corals. I can finally say, knocking on wood, that I am past the algae issues with this tank. I am so glad to say that, guys. You know, this is the first time I've been able to do a water change without needing to brush the rock work off, without needing to knock any hair algae off or anything else that was unsightly or just needed to be out of the system. I'm finally past it. You know, not only do I not have algae issues, but I'm starting to see coralline algae grow on the rock work. So at this point, there is absolutely nothing else holding me back from adding corals to the tank. So for all of you all that have been wondering, you know, what's up with the corals? When are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? Well, it's finally time for you guys to get your popcorn, you know, set back and really start watching this tank go from a fowler, you know, fish only with live rock to an actual reef tank. So, you know, with that being said, I think anyone and everyone can get past the issues of Pukani rock and algae. And the number one thing it's going to take is time and patience. And as long as you got both, I think you'll be just fine. Now, besides the algae issues, the only other major problem I've had will be losing half my stock list around four months ago. Now, keep in mind, guys, I don't quarantine my fish. It's not a, you know anything new for anyone that's following me. And to be perfectly honest, I probably never will. I just don't feel it's something I really have to do for me to have a successful reef tank. You know, would it save me some trouble down the line? Maybe could it avoid a 
entire tank wipeout of course it could but at the same time what I've done before has worked well meaning going to the same LFS only trying to purchase fish that are happy healthy and eating and that have been in the LFS where I can visually observe them for days and feel comfortable bringing them home honestly that's been my main method of purchasing fish and it's done well so far now for those wondering what happened well I went outside of my method meaning I went somewhere else bought a fish that was suspect that ended up learning a lesson for it so with that being said you know hey if you're a guy that quarantines by all means do your thing if you're someone that doesn't by all means do your thing <laughs> I'm not telling anyone what to do or not to do I'm just sharing what I do with my system so what are my restocking plans? Well, it's very simple, guys. You know, first and foremost, I wanted to have tanks in the system. That's one of the main reasons for moving to a bigger system was to be able to enjoy bigger fish. But I didn't want to push the limits too far. You know, I've had success with this same trio of tanks before, so I figured this would be the best chance of having that success again. And those tanks are going to be the powder blue, the yellow tank, and the Tamini tank. Now, so far, as you guys can tell, everything is all good. You know, a week and a half later, everything is still all good. So I think removing that powder blue for a few days, reintroducing the tanks is definitely a successful route anyone can take if you're in the same situation as me. Otherwise, you know, there's different methods you can try. But as far as additional fish, I did also add a Singapore angel, which is gonna be my last dwarf angel in the system. They're always risky when it comes to coral, so I'm not gonna push the limits too far. And then I also plan on adding some clownfish and then some maintenance fish, meaning, you know, maybe a couple sand sifting gobies, maybe an Alan lawnmower blenny or some kind of algae eating blenny. And then that's it, guys. So I'm probably gonna end up with roughly 15 fish or so in this system. And so far, you know, I'm really liking the look of the life swimming around, the different colors and the way everyone's getting along. So now it's time to answer that million dollar question. CJ, when are you adding corals, man? Well, to be honest with you guys, I've already started adding them. If you look now in this video, you'll see a small frag of Duncan coral. I really love Duncans because they're great indicator corals. If there's anything wrong in your tank, they just won't open up. It's very simple. So with the way this guy's been responding, I'm definitely moving forward with adding more corals. And if I'm gonna be perfectly honest, by the time you're watching this video, I already have a bunch more corals in here. I just haven't shown you yet. So if you want those exclusive looks at what the tank looks like right now, definitely hit that notification bell and definitely make sure you tune in to every live stream moving forward as I add pieces and go live to give those exclusives. So other than that, I think it's time to get out of here. This video is going to be short and sweet. Just wanted to give you guys an update and to give you a good look at the tank and letting you guys know that everything's all good. So as always, hey, you guys can like, comment, subscribe. You guys keep doing what you do. Y'all be easy and happy reefing.